Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the charts and the latest news for Cardano to see what's been going on with the price action but also to see what's been going on in the space. As I get into this video if you find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe. Tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with all the videos that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And if you have not yet joined us down in Discord links in the description down below it's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7. It's completely free and I don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out today. Okay guys let's uh, let's waste no more time let's jump on down into the desktop here and take a look at first of all the price action of ADA. Okay guys so as you can see we have been tracking pretty much sideways for a while now we are still potentially in a five wave move coming down lower uh, with our fourth wave coming up slightly higher and you can see here that we are pushing ever so slightly higher um, as time has progressed in this kind of sideways fashion this is making it less and less likely that this is a kind of uh, five wave move to the downside invalidation is still set there at five, uh, 55.1 uh, cent that hasn't changed and we're getting very very close to it recently in the last couple of hours here we've pushed as high as uh, 54.8 okay so we're getting close to the higher points here um, for um, Cardano but we haven't quite reached that invalidation point so it's still 10 technically possible that we pull back down into a fifth wave but I think it's very very unlikely at this point instead what I would think this uh, more likely to be is uh, some kind of correction here with a WXY slightly overextended Y and inside here you could argue that there's actually a five wave drop just in here and basically articulating this as a 335 correction and I think that actually marks the end of that state of play this then means that we are probably going to be moving on up again in another kind of um, you know fashion of uh, of correctiveness now uh, we are still looking to push up high as 74.2 that's on the one to one ratio and um, but what we will do is we'll just also just do a couple of double checks here we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and grab hold of this and uh, what i'll do is i'm just gonna because i was messing around with this earlier yeah i'm just gonna make sure that is definitely on its logarithmic scale which it is and then we're just gonna pull this over to our line here and here you can see 74.1 so it's come down ever so slightly lower so i'll just go ahead and lower that it's actually uh 14 so it's actually that one there so 74.14 okay that is the low point there so i'm just going to go ahead and lower that in so that's our, our low target based on this point down here and um, so that's still very much valid and we are looking for that surge up and it's possible that what we actually end up with here is some kind of five wave structure uh, that gets us up there right but we don't necessarily know how that journey is going to go just yet and we are up against resistance right now so we want to be kind of aware that we are likely to see a bit of a pullback here now the we are overbought on the stochastic rsi so the momentum behind the price is telling us that we're likely to see a pullback down now if i actually go ahead and throw the volume on here you can see how the volume uh, is actually decreasing as we're pushing up this is going to tell us that we are looking for a pullback down this is essentially what the stochastic rsi is helping us understand as well and um, from the momentum perspective okay so know that we are are more likely going to pull back down and we look to come and bring this down to an oversold area and we want to do minimal amount of damage so as long as that volume drops we're okay you can see the four hours also pushing up here uh, up into the overbought so we can pull that back down the eight hours just heading up there so again we could see a little bit of volatility with the eight hour i'm not too concerned with that one and the daily is just going up into the overbought area right so i think this daily stochastic is likely to come up into this overbought area and then it's going to stay up here for a couple of days or so and then we should start to, start to think about a pullback down uh, which obviously brings me into the bigger play right because it's important that we understand that all this is micro movements here uh, on our hourly chart and again these are the things that i would expect to kind of play out over the course of a few days and um, but yet when we come up into the larger time frames and we bring this down we can see that there is a potential move down to about 30 cent and this would pretty much align to where bitcoin pulls back down to let's say it's 23k low which i spoke about this morning um, and in doing so you'll basically start to see cardano also bleed out towards the 30 cent level now this is going to be a fantastic opportunity to accumulate in my opinion uh, obviously it's at this point i should remind everyone that i'm not a financial advisor i cannot offer you financial advice all i can do is give you my thoughts and opinions on the data as I see it inside the charts and I am going to move on from the technical analysis now over into some fundamental news uh, which helps you understand why the move to 30 cent is going to be key for many 
big players in the space okay so we're going to start things off by taking a look at this and um, this is just kind of like a, a feel good kind of piece of news i guess um but basically the accelerator program genesis x ispo nets in you know 105 million dollars in ada um so again ispos are doing what they do best um you know and, and it, it's, it's a good example i'll link this into the description so you can read it. i'm not really going to cover this one off in detail um but essentially you know it's a, it's a nice way to kind of see that even just during these kind of downward spirals um you know where you're seeing significant kind of bleeding in altcoins uh even some of these ispos and you know, genius at, at genesis x here uh it's still 105 million dollars in ada okay was it was netted there so um really good news there now let's actually move on right because i do want to talk about uh, the hard fork that's coming in june right so late june there's going to be a hard fork event uh, that basically ushers in more scalability um for cardano and um i think it's actually this one that i want to talk about first um yeah i think this is the one i want to talk about yeah um so basically you know on the 29th of june 2022 we are going to be uh, having a hard uh, fork combinator event okay basically this is a, a hard fork of cardano's blockchain and essentially it's going to bring in uh, additional functions now there are a list of functions here um, that you're going to get from this and i've gone through this in the previous video so i'm not going to go through all the cip uh, that are going to be in included i've went through that previously just watch back a couple of the uh, cardano videos on the channel and you'll find uh, everything that i'm talking about in terms of what these cips are going to do right so in a nutshell there's a fair amount here a lot to do with plutus smart contracts scalability and all that kind of stuff and there's a lot of details in this tweet and um, so again i am going to put this into the description below so you can get a good idea and a good grasp over you know what is going on with uh, with this hard fork event but this is a key event for cardano because it's going to usher in new adoption for the blockchain in my opinion right so all of this um is these upgrades right for cardano is all about scalability so those who are familiar there's a lot of lag um with with cardano currently just because of nfts more than anything else right really dragging down uh, the ecosystem in terms of the volume of nfts that are being kind of you know put on and, and into transactions and, and essentially that's good it's good that you have that much of a thriving ecosystem already um, but it's bad in the sense that you know the system's not able to kind of deal with that volume just yet it was a little bit um i guess premature in in the it was launching nfts um without actually really having the scalability to deal with it. That being said though, um, this since uh, the end of June, so 29th of June is gonna be absolutely key because it's going to drive in this level of, um, you know, a scalability that's gonna make the whole thing so much faster. Now on the back of this, there's also some CIPs for Plutus, uh, which hopefully will start, start to standardize some of the smart contracts, which basically will allow more projects to actually launch on the ecosystem. So you're gonna to start to see uh, a more uh, adoption okay as we start to see more DeFi come in uh on cardano now obviously solana has been the kind of you know really driving growth within the DeFi section for a while a sector for a while um and i think a lot of that is down to the fact that there's little competition for um you know scalable cheap DeFi. Um, you know, and obviously with the downfall of Terra, that's obviously going to compound things a bit more. Uh, obviously with that though, there are some issues with Solana as there are issues with any other platform as well to start with, right? So, and this video is not a, a hate on Solana. Um, this is a video to kind of say that um, market share will gain be divvied up as DeFi launches on Cardano right now. I'm not saying that Cardano is going to outperform Solana right away um, or Ethereum for that matter. I think in time though, give it 10 years or so, I think Cardano has been built to kind of last. Whereas things like Ethereum are a bit slow to adapt to changes, which you know we've seen with ETH 2.0 and all that. Um, and Solana has legacy issues where you know it kind of rushed product to market. Okay. Um, again, so it has to fix those things now. And um, for the most part, also, I think VCs uh, are an issue with Solana, whereas you don't have so much VC backing on Cardano. And as a result of that, um, retail investors should be very, very wary of, of Solana. Okay. Um, but that being said, I still think short term Solana is going to outperform um, Cardano potentially um, up until, you know, the vesting period for those billionaires 
ends and then they can dump their positions um, and then outside of that i think long term cardano will be the the one that will kind of win overall um, but that's just my thoughts and opinions let me know yours in the comments below um, so obviously this hard event uh, hard uh, hard fork combinator event is going to be absolutely key for for bringing more adoption to cardano now uh, as we kind of come into this we want to talk about what is actually the king of scalability for cardano and that's going to be the hydra solution right um, so the hydra um, is basically going to advance the cardano scalability in as they quote here a lego like fashion now if i actually bring up the tweet for this one and um, basically it's the first field and blocks um being basic hydra heads then uh, incremental commits uh, then into head etc uh, the exact order depends on what people will need and request uh, in a similar fashion uh, features of the core head are user driven um, so come and tell us what you need and um, so essentially you know in a nutshell hydra is developed to be like lego sets uh, that allow you to build hydra applications however you want uh, whether star shaped or anything else that you want and essentially this is a, a really interesting kind of perspective on it so I'll, I'll link this into the description as well so you can check this one out now essentially what this is talking about is how hydra is truly scalable um to how you need it to be scalable okay uh, everyone kind of says oh you know hydra solution this it's going to get you three million transactions per second it's going to be fantastic now yes it's going to be capable of that um, however that's not really the focus of hydra it doesn't really matter what your maximum number of um you know transactions per second is going to be only thing that really matters is what the user needs right so um, for example if you can have 1000 up to 1000 transactions per second per node uh, per validator then essentially what that's going to mean is you can have up to a thousand but if you only need 500 you're only going to have 500 transactions per second right so it delivers what you actually need and here you can obviously see that it gives you not only uh, the you know the basic heads as in those transaction those blocks etc and um, but you can also have it um so what you need right so whether that is going to be uh you know into heads etc commits um blocks you know and basically you can create your applications for your requirements and you can use this hydra to do that so it's going to be a really interesting way to kind of really review now this is a complex subject i'm really murdering it here in this video so do more research on it i'll link some of this stuff into the description down below it gets oversimplified by people just saying oh you can have a million or three million transactions per second and um, but essentially the way that this has been created has been with the user in mind right it hasn't been said oh we just want to maximize the number we want to be the best in terms of the transactions per second it's none of that it's more what does the user need and how do we deliver what the user requires um, and it's really been broken down in a really well thought out way so i'm murdering it here i'm not doing it justice do more research on it and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find with the hydra solution now that hopefully will come later in this year and um, so obviously this is not for the june um you know 29th upgrade this will come later the june 29 upgrade has a very different cips uh, which are to do with smart contracts and scalability and all that kind of stuff so um, again check out my previous video for more on that one um, but let's actually take a look at some of the other stuff that's going on right because cardano whales have been on a buying spree have you been on a buying spree with them um so obviously at the beginning of the video when i went through that ta and i was talking about you know 30 cent um it's going to be an absolute diamond of an opportunity right it's going to be the, the the time to really scoop up as much ada as you possibly can in my opinion as i said earlier i'm not a financial advisor i cannot give you financial advice just my personal opinion and i have a saying here on the channel right you do uh, as they do not as they say and uh, they are buying cardano so why wouldn't you be buying cardano with the whales right um, do as they do not as they say so they'll be telling you that it's a shit coin it's a ghost chain uh, that it's got nothing built on it that uh, you can only have one transaction per block all of the fud all of the noise all of the um you know unfactual information such as it has no smart contracts or whatever noise that comes up in the background a lot of that stuff has to be fact checked okay it's not a lot not a lot of it is not right and i've been through this before check out my video on the channel uh, sorting fact from fiction when it comes to cardano um, essentially i'm doing what the whales are doing uh, you know i would be buying up cardano okay uh, and i know chris is i'm actually waiting for the the dip but chris has been dollar cost averaging for quite some time into cardano um so if you're not 
really think about why you're not and review where you're backing instead because i think uh, the whales got this one right in my opinion um so basically when it dropped down to 40 cent they really hit home there was like over a thousand transactions um with over uh, $100,000 in them. So here you can see basically a uh, reported significant increase in on-chain activity for the Cardano network. And the blockchain and cryptocurrency market analyst platform affirmed that the number of large transactions with a value of over $100,000 has risen by over 5,000% since the beginning of the year. A total of 69.09 billion ADA um, was transacted on uh, March 28th alone. So again, this is uh, obviously well above the actual maximum number of ADA. So I'm going to assume that there's multiple transactions moving in multiple different directions uh, on repeat. So interesting kind of stuff. That is a large amount of ADA moving around in terms of volume. Uh, this represents 99% of the on-chain volume. Okay, so really understand what's going on there. Uh, such market behavior hints at institutional players and whale activity and uh, pointing to how uh, they may be investing and positioning themselves in Cardano. Okay, um, so sentiment picked up on similar network activity. Uh, so a second... Uh, firm here picking up on it and um, the behavioral uh, analytics platform have recorded a 1.7 increase in the number of whales on cardano roughly 42 addresses holding over 1 million to 10 million ada uh, were created since march 2021 um such an up uh, tick in the number of large investors behind cardano may seem insignificant at first glance but when you consider that these whales hold between 1.2 million and 12 million dollars in ada uh, then suddenly uh, then the sudden spike in buying pressure can translate into millions of dollars of ada okay so understand that this is very very significant okay um so the rising interest in cardano Dano has uh, helped price reclaim. It's kind of gone through a little bit here, but it hasn't really gone through too much. So um, I think it's really important that we understand quite a few things that are going on in terms of the price action, the opportunity that I think is going to be had as we lower the price down towards 30 cent. And essentially, you know, if we actually zoom right out on this, you can kind of see this whole entire correction. Now, I've marked this up as our fifth wave high. Um, it's an unusual fifth wave high, but it is still possible that that is five, and meaning that we actually end up with a new structure taking us up much higher. I would be surprised if we are not talking about you know well over ten dollars in the future here for cardano and one of the th key things that chris talks about a lot in his videos is the shortage of supply when it comes to price discovery forget market cap it means very very little market cap only represents price and um, as in it's the last sold price multiplied by the circulating supply it does not represent value do not fall into that trap do not believe uh, that the that market cap has anything more to do than the current price understand that what actually moves the price is all about supply and demand if there's a squeeze on the supply and the demand increases the price will move up rapidly just take a look at recent events with the price uh, of oil for example and your your petrol or your diesel down the old fueling stations and uh, there was a huge price spike as the supply dwindled down the demand kicked in and rose that price even harder okay so it's important you understand that what moves price up and what moves price down ultimately only comes down to two things supply and demand and um, so do uh, make sure you do that research understand exactly what is going on behind here as we start to see Binance really struggling with supply as we start to see large investors accumulating ADA um, we want to be on the right side of this we want to accumulate at the right prices and I do think as we drop down it towards 30 cent that is the place that I want to be making sure I've got a really strong position in Cardano now guys I am going to leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i will catch you all in the next one